newest addition to the Orioles bullpen, Michael Givens, up from Norfolk and AAA. He's having a fantastic year, and already he's made a mark out of the bullpen with the Orioles. Michael, welcome to Dempsey's Dugout today. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Nice to be talking to you. And I absolutely loved the outing the other day because I got a chance to really see your release point. And one of the tough things about you, you've got that. It's not even a three-quarters delivery. It's all, it, It's down here. It's between you and O'Day. It's halfway. It's almost submarine, but not quite. Pretty effective, though. How's it worked for you? It's been working well. I just uh, give credit. To, I have a lot of deception and trying to use that and try to get hitters off balance and try to make them uncomfortable in the box. One thing you don't see very often is that hesitation that a lot of pitchers, when you turn that hip back and you kind of hesitate for a second, hitters cannot really see your release point very well. How did you pick that up? You used to be a shortstop and now you're a pitcher. <laughs> yeah, I just pitched in high school and then I had that arm flop there and always just trying to develop and have a consistent arm slot. So I've been working pretty hard and trying to make it more uncomfortable for hitters, even for my arm slot and my delivery. Well, let's talk just a little bit more about this hesitation that you have. I like it. A lot of guys just stop right here, and then they go ahead and, and commit to the pitch. But you have a thing where you go back a little bit more. That's a little extra bit of a load for you. Yeah, a little bit. I tinker, tinker with it uh, a little bit off season. Um, just getting more deception of when and staying back for me, I feel a little comfortable staying back to get through the the zone right here when I on my release point. So I just tinker with it. I uh, kind of was kind of was just straight up when I started pitching, just straight up and going right at right at the hitter. Mm -hmm. It was, wasn't really consistent. wasn't staying back as much. So I tinker with it and I look at uh, a lot of different uh, mechanics and I just did here. I felt more staying back and more consistent in throwing strikes. Well, show me a little bit about your release point. When you come set and you drop into your arm slot, I think that's interesting for a lot of people. Maybe guys that are thinking about being a novelty pitcher like you, how does it feel? How does it look? Um, just when I get out here, I'm on the third, third base side, I'm trying to get sometimes, for for the most part, get behind uh, the uh, right-hander hitter. And for the most part, I, what I worked on this year in the off season, I started with a little slouch right here to get me in a good position to start start my delivery. Then I get a little turn to get a little deception and just go ahead and go through my uh, delivery. Well, that's the turn too. I mean, when you bend over like that, you're really hiding the baseball from the hitter, which you know makes everything a lot more effective. Yeah, and I learned from just being a hitter in, uh, in minor league ball and. T picking up some stuff from like a lot of big league guys, and uh, if I get the, a hitter to move their head, it make them uncomfortable. I won the battle, so all I have to do is just just stay focused, get ahead, and stay ahead.